Hey you guys, welcome back to a new vlog. I was about to start cooking, so I thought we could cook together. I'm gonna make homemade tomato soup for the first time in my life. I have everything over there. I had six tomatoes for the recipe, and I've only had them a few days. I don't know what happened, half of them or rotten when I just checked the bag. So we're gonna cut the recipe in half. <laughs> I needed three pounds of tomatoes, but I now have one and a half, that's fine. It's just for me and Yar anyway, so I was gonna have leftovers, now we won't have leftovers. I just don't feel like going to the store. So we're gonna make some homemade tomato soup. And I also really wanna make um, those old snicker date things I used to make all the time. We haven't had them, I don't even think since we moved into this house. And they're just, ugh, they're like one of our favorite little treats. So let's do some cooking. This is the Halloween stuff packed up. Um, the last room is over here, which I am kind of waiting on. Um, I had showed my mom the little Christmas tree. She was over here earlier. It was actually really warm out today. We took the dog to the beach. Are you having fun? Are your last beach day of the year? Probably, hopefully. Zoomies! He's having so much fun. Galloping. I'm not decorating until it's cool. I am not. <laughs> Did you have fun at the beach? Playing in the water? You are such a water bug. Yes, you are. Okay, so the recipe I am gonna follow is called Spend with Pennies. This is the website. Um, so I have the oven preheated to 450. Wash and cut the tomatoes. I've seen people do this on TikTok all the time. It's like basically roasting a bunch of stuff on a pan like onion tomato pepper um you know and all that jazz so let's start with putting the veggies cut up on a pan and then we'll roast them Soup is done. I am now going to make my little date snicker-like desserts. Honestly, they just taste so good. So I melted with a double boiler chocolate chips and coconut oil. And then I open up a date. You guys have probably seen this a million times. I discovered it on TikTok a while ago. I have these dates and you cut it open, put a little bit of peanut butter and then some chopped up almonds fold it up, wrap it in the chocolate and put them in the freezer. Oh, just trust me, they're so delish. All right, pop them on a sheet with parchment paper throw them in the freezer and then once they're all firm I just throw them in a Ziploc bag and keep them in the freezer. They don't look uh, super appetizing but I swear they're so good. Do you want to say good morning? Do you want to say good morning? Oh good morning! Hello. <laughs> Hello you guys. It is the next day. So yesterday when my mom and I were at the beach I stubbed my toe on a rock like won't show you it's gross 
but like I cracked the nail. It was like bleeding under the nail. My toe is like purple and bruised. <laughs> And I kid you not, like last night, I could not walk. <laughs> my mom was like, you need to ice it like tonight, not tomorrow, tonight. And I iced it for like 30 minutes on and off and it feels so good today. Like, God bless. So I figured we could open some packages this morning because I've got a bunch of packages and then I'm gonna go get ready to do some filming. So I have some stuff from Amazon and then I also got my Bath and Body Works Christmas haul. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I am actually burning my last two fall candles as we speak. And I think I'm gonna decorate for Christmas like in the next few days. So perfect, perfect timing. So let's open Amazon first. Um, I can't really remember <laughs> what I ordered. <laughs> Look at my croc charms. They're Charlie Brown Christmas. Look at them. Aren't those so cute? Yeah. And you know, I have my fall themed crocs. Now they're gonna be my Christmas themed crocs. These are so, oh, these are so cute. Obviously, we'll link them below. So I got two packs, one for each foot. Um, why is there no Charlie Brown? <laughs> See, that's a little, that's very indicative of how Charlie Brown would feel. Like, why are we skimping out on Charlie? So I was looking at like Christmas charms from Amazon. Cause like they have a lot of really good deals. Like you can get like a pack of like a hundred for like $20. These are like the actual Crocs brand. So they were a little more expensive, but like I didn't like the ones in the other packs. Oh, your towel. Yeah, I ordered it. Nice. Yeah, I'll let you guys know how this is. How, how, how does it feel? It's a, it's like an antimicrobial. Oh, he's excited. He's so excited. It's like a kid at Christmas. Oh, it's nice. Feels good. That's so nice. So these towels supposedly like, you know how towels can get a little stinky when they're wet. These are supposedly like non-smelly, antimicrobial all that jazz. They had really good reviews. People were saying like, these do not get crusty, busty, musty. And I like how it's like ribbed. It's cute. It feels nice. I'm excited to try them. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to report back, but. Yeah, cause like I, the thing is I, I shower twice a day. So in the mornings after my workout, I shower and then in the afternoons, the towel is still wet. Yeah, and it's still and wet it's and like, it's, 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 gets it's, it's, it gets kind of stinky. Yeah, it gets, yeah. yeah, and even though we wash them like all the time, it just doesn't, when you, cause he does, he showers twice a day. I usually just shower once and I, so I don't really have the issue, but like, he i need quick dry yeah you need quick dry so i'll report back on that um cool. but it had great reviews so i trust amazon reviews people are not afraid to talk smack on amazon <laughs> reviews so i'm hopeful oh i'm so excited about these okay so this is like the coolest invention ever um so these are garland ties that look like garland so for the garland that's going to go on the stair banisters like last year at our old house, I had to like finagle it with like rope <laughs> and it was a struggle and a half. But these are super like durable. You can twist it um, and it's got like wire in there. So you can use these to secure it onto the railing and it will blend in with your garland. These had great reviews. The other ones, some of them said they weren't sturdy enough. People said these were very like sturdy, strong, powerful. So. I don't know how many came in the pack. It's a lot though, because we have a lot of stair um, to cover, but really cool, cool find. And I think in this package is just Yerba's. Yeah, it's just Yerba's. Okay, so that's my mini Amazon haul. Now let's get into Christmas Bath and Body Works haul. One of the best hauls of the year. I'm actually very pleased with how the timeline worked out of all of our fall candles. Like the timing was just immaculate. It's so awkward when there's like just one candle in one box. There goes the dog. <laughs> Took the paper and ran. Uh, let's see, so the, okay, this one is Iced Winter Balsam. If you guys know me, you know that balsam is my favorite, favorite smell. The smell of Christmas trees, like it, my favorite Christmas smell. So I always opt mostly for like Christmas tree scented. I'll get a few other ones, but um, I don't think I've ever tried the iced winter balsam. It's frozen eucalyptus, sugared pine, and balsam. So let's see. Oh my God. <laughs> it smells like Christmas. I'm so happy. Like, oh, I just can't believe the time is here. I just can't believe it. I really can't. You really put me on to candles. I did. I put Yarmin onto candles. He's like a candle whore now. You always have one lit in your office. The thing is with Yar though, he's more of a Yankee candle guy. He thinks the Bath and Body Works ones are too strong. But honestly, to me, 
that's a good thing. I think because it's just in like a room and then he closes the door, so it's just a little too powerful. But in the house, like if you have it in like a larger room or an open concept area, like the smell travels really nice. All right, now we're getting into the big mama, the big package. We'll get into the candles first. And I did get a little something special. If you watched a previous vlog, you know. Okay, this one is called Tree Farm. Love this packaging. Crisp pine needle, warm cedar, and spiced apple. Ooh, that is so nice. This is a nice transition candle. <laughs> I sound so stupid. This is a nice transition candle from fall to winter because it has a little bit of that apple. Oh, but it does smell like Christmas trees too. I think I'm gonna transition with this one first. It just makes sense. Next, we have a mahogany balsam. I've definitely tried this one before. Um, it's juniper berry balsam and mahogany wood. Bye, babe. Ooh, this one's nice. This one has more of a masculine scent. A little bit of Christmas tree, but then that little bit of masculine with the mahogany, it's nice. But like realistically, I don't feel like I'd buy that again. Like, I don't know why I bought it again. Probably just because I saw balsam, but it's just a little too, it's not Christmas tree enough, you know? And then of course, the classic fresh balsam. I liked this cute little packaging. Oh, oh, Christmas tree. Mm, smells like Christmas trees, I love it. Like during the holiday season, if I'm not smelling a Christmas tree, I'm not happy. <laughs> okay, oh, I got this one for Christmas. Bright Christmas morning. I always buy like a special candle for Christmas Eve and Christmas day. So this one is red, ripe berries, blood orange, and crisp apple. Oh, this is like, I feel like I've bought this one before, like bright Christmas morning or Christmas morning, but like it's kind of become a nostalgic scent for me like when Yara and I will open Christmas presents on Christmas morning. So uh, I like having a special candle for that. I'm all about nostalgia and memories, scents that go with memories. Ooh, this one is so pretty, the packaging. It's like textured and kind of sparkly. This one is called Under the Christmas Tree. It's balsam, juniper berries, eggnog, and sage. That's funny, I can actually smell all of that in this. Wow, I love that. And then I grabbed another fresh balsam in this packaging because you really just can't have enough. Oh, this one's called The Perfect Christmas. It's pine, cinnamon sugar, and toasted marshmallow. I don't know if I've done this one. Christmas, The Perfect Christmas. Mmm. Oh, I like that. Oh, I like that. It's like the perfect mix. I gave Bruno one of these little boxes because he loves playing with cardboard, so you can probably hear him going crazy. But this smells really nice. It does, it has a little bit of everything, but it definitely just smells like the holiday season. Okay, last candle, and this should get me through the holiday season. This one's just called Holiday in this cute little package. This one is cinnamon stick, Christmas clove, and ground nutmeg. Mmm, nice and spicy. It has a nice, like, just Christmas spice scent. Um, I feel like mixing this with a Christmas tree candle, like, would be really, really nice. I grabbed a couple of room sprays. I got a fresh balsam, of course, and winter. I thought I got three, but maybe I just got two. Okay, this is what I'm most excited for. I posted this in a previous vlog, as I said, but I just fell in love with this on the website. And I've never really bought anything like this from Bath & Body Works, so I'm curious to see how it is. But it's just this beautiful candle holder, and I'm so excited about it to have in my Christmas collection. Oh my god, I, oh, I love it. I love it. Find someone who looks at you the way I look at this. <laughs> look at this beautiful candle holder. It's white sparkly snow kind of a rosy gold shade of this little gingerbread house. Oh, and it does light up. I have to put batteries in it. And then it has a little on button on the side. Um, and it's a singular candle holder. So I figured this would be perfect to have in my collection every year. So I grabbed two single candles because I don't know how often I'll really light these. Mm, this is Tis the Season. This one smells amazing, but like how cute. How cute. Oh, I just think this is so beautiful. I don't know why, it just really does something for me. And I love that it's gonna light up. It's gonna be so cozy. And then I got just one other single candle, one red one and one green one. Oh yeah, and then I just grabbed a fresh balsam. Oh, like, I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry, it's so cute. So I'm gonna put all this away. I do have a candle, candle cabinet where I keep all my candles. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna burn up the last of my fall candles. Today is the last day of this weird little heat wave in November. Like literally yesterday was 75, I think I said that. It's gonna be that hot today. I'm gonna stay inside because <laughs> it just, icky i really hate it i'm gonna go outside i'm gonna have to walk the dog and do things but like it just doesn't feel right for november you know but yeah the rest of the week is gonna be cold so that's when we're gonna start to decorate and it probably won't be this vlog but the next one so get excited i love christmas on youtube because i don't feel embarrassed doing everything so early because it's just like it's the norm here but let's normalize it for you if you want to put that tree up today honey you do it if it's already up more power to you Okay, I'm gonna put these away and do my makeup and do some filming. It's nice and early. We fell back a few days ago, um, so it's helped me get up earlier. And I'm finally like, I think I got most of my voice back, so that's great. Many hours later. All right, oh my gosh. It is so many hours later. It is two o'clock. The last time I vlogged was at like eight something. So I have spent, oh, I do love that wallpaper. I, oh, I'm obsessed with the dining room. If you didn't see the vlog, I did like a dining room makeover. We got like a new rug and wallpaper. Oh, it's so pretty. Like Yara and I will just go in there and just stare at it. We're like, ah. <laughs> now I have an addiction to wallpaper, or at least I want to have an addiction to wallpaper. So we were just looking at some for the downstairs bathroom. We are thinking of like a gray navy background with some sort of pattern, I don't know. Anyway, stay tuned, maybe that will be during Vlogmas, but I just filmed a Shein try-on haul for YouTube and then some reels, and I just edited all of it, and I am a-pooped. Um, try-on hauls suck the life out of me, I don't know. Um, <laughs> but they're fun, it was definitely a good time, like a lot of great clothes, so. I think that will be up before this vlog, so go check it out. Uh, but yeah, we had lunch, that homemade tomato soup. Yarman loves it. Um, if I'm being super honest, I just, it's like, it, it just doesn't taste like tomato soup to me. It tastes like a, a soup, like it tastes like a healthy soup, but it doesn't taste like tomato soup to me. Like, I don't know why, there was only a quarter of a red pepper in it. I just taste a lot of red pepper. It tastes more like a roasted red pepper tomato soup, in my opinion. But like all the recipes I saw had red pepper in it, so I don't know. Um, but if you're looking for it to taste like tomato soup, it didn't taste like tomato soup to me, but it was good. It tasted just more like a veggie soup. Uh, am I making sense? <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to check in and say hi. I am gonna do more editing of a vlog, and then I'm gonna take the dog for a walk and just keep plugging away on the computer because, you know, Christmas time's coming, Vlogmas is coming, and it's about to be my busy season. I'm so excited. Okay, so I'm making turkey burgers for dinner, and I'm following a new recipe because I feel like, I don't know, I just feel like my turkey burgers could be better. So this recipe is from Killing Time, like the herb.net, and they use a liquid smoke. I've had this and I haven't used it yet, so um, it called for a teaspoon, like a quarter cup of panko, two garlic cloves, pound of ground turkey, um, and then also calls for, I put an egg in, I'm not gonna do the onion, sea salt, onion powder, Italian seasoning, black pepper. So I'm curious how it's gonna be with this. So I will report back. Okay, update. Oh, I think I have makeup under my eyes. I just took my makeup off like with a makeup wipe. Low key, cause I had some downstairs. This burger, oh my God. I just like cut off a little piece. It's like even more tender than usual. And I literally use like 99% fat free ground turkey. So like. You know, you have to really season it the right way, but it's like tender, flavorful. That recipe is amazing. Smoky. Mm. Good morning. I'm in the same spot I was yesterday. If it's not obvious, this is like my spot um, where I always am. So uh, I am so tired. I don't know why I'm so tired. It's like we fell back. So I got an extra hour of sleep several days ago, but I'm just like, I don't know, my body is just like, what are we doing? Uh, today is voting day, so I am gonna go vote. And then I'm gonna go to my grandma's with my mom. My grandma needs a haircut, so I'm gonna cut her hair. If you guys didn't know, I cut my grandma's hair. If you guys didn't know, I am technically a licensed cosmetologist. I actually do enjoy cutting hair, but like color 
if you are a hair colorist, you're amazing. It is a science that I am continuously amazed by. <laughs> that people, like it is so, like you can think you're doing the perfect formula and it's just like, nah. Hair's like, nah. It's a, it's a science, it really is. The heat wave is finally over. Thank the Lord. The last several days, we're literally in the sun in the 80s. It's 49 right now, it feels like, feels like that good crispy fall to Christmas vibe. So yeah, I'm gonna go vote, pick up my mom, and then we'll go cut my grandma's hair. <laughs> we have on the radio at my grandma's and it's playing Christmas music. Wait, 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 tell them more though. So we're all just sitting here just for some giggles. I'm like, I wonder if SRS is playing uh, Christmas music yet. Yeah. I only did that like for kicks. Just for I didn't kicks. Think it really would. If yeah. you guys are in Mass, you know 96.1 is like the Christmas station. Oh and yeah, we were like, let's just check. And we asked A-L-E-X-A -E and she was like, now playing SRS. And it was just Christmas. Because usually it's like the day after Thanksgiving. Yep. Well, I, I think that's in your head. I don't think it's been like that for years. Christmas music starts on no, SRS the no, day after Halloween. Say, I don't think that after November 8th? I think after Thanksgiving. Google it. I think that's what you all want it to be. <laughs> <laughs> Let's, so we'll Google it. We're taking the dogs for a walk. Max looks so small next to Bruno. Look at that big stick. Many hours later. Okay, I am back from my grandma's house. Uh, I just, <laughs> just threw my hair up to get it out of my face, so don't mind this. But uh, I figured to end this vlog, I would do a little Sephora haul because I bought some stuff during the sale. They had like a holiday savings sale. Um, I'm sure you guys saw it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it ended like yesterday, but I'm super excited because I was able to stock up on like some favorites, try some new things. It was all 20% off, but I'm gonna show you guys what I got. We will play with these products most likely in another vlog or TikTok. So stay tuned. Oh my God, guys. So I'm gonna, after this, I'm gonna end the vlog and start the next one where I decorate for Christmas. And we're gonna put on new nails. I got Christmassy nails from Glamnetic. I've heard really good things about Glamnetic and these are the perfect length. They're not too long. Um, I'm really excited. I'm curious to see how these are, like, cause they're supposed to be like indestructible. Um, and I just love the design. Red French with the little like white pattern. So, I'm gonna put those on tomorrow. I also grabbed a Nest candle because Nest candles are like dumb expensive, but they're so good. <laughs> so I grabbed um, the holiday scent. So I'll definitely light this when I'm decorating tomorrow as well. Thumbs up, comment below if you're excited for the decorating vlog. Like, let's get excited. Look how, oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, give that a whiff. Mm. Right, nice. So it's this pretty little like gold pattern oh it smells just like the epitome of christmas a little bit of tree a little bit of spice a little bit of everything oh amazing oh I'm, so, I'm all over the place i'm just so excited i've been waiting for this package um so this hourglass palette has been calling my name and i'm so excited about it because i love my hourglass bronzer the ambient lighting i have the blush trio i use that constantly so this is a palette Oh, and I love the packaging on this. Like, so cool. This is the Ambient Lighting Edit Unlocked in the Elephant one. Um, and it has just the prettiest, oh, how do I? Oh, it's just magnetic. Has the prettiest colors here. So we've got bronzer, blushes, highlight, finishing power, powder, like a nice glow. The Ambient Lighting powders are so beautiful. They just leave like a candlelit glow. So this is like an all-in-one stunning palette. And I just feel like I'm gonna use it every day. Which I also finally got the freaking Rare Beauty Liquid Blushes. They had a holiday set. This is the three piece liquid blush set. I can't wait to use these. Like everyone has been obsessed with these and I still haven't tried them. So um, it's like a little gift set for the holidays, but it was a really good deal. So I don't know, it comes with three really pretty colors. I cannot wait to play with those. I grabbed the contour stick or contour wand from Charlotte Tilbury. They were out of the like medium to dark. I got the fair to medium because I'm pretty pale anyway. Um, so hopefully the shade is right for me, but everyone loves these and I have faux mo and I have been absolutely obsessed with like cream contouring lately. So I cannot wait to try this. We're gonna need to do like a full face of all this. 
And I grabbed a luminous silk from Giorgio Armani because as we know, these are pricey and I miss how this foundation looks. It is just like chef's kiss, gorgeous to the gods, like glowing, nice medium coverage, buildable, long lasting. So I grabbed one of these because I haven't had in forever and it's the perfect time when it's on sale. From, oh, Sephora's brand products were 30% off. So I grabbed this resurfacing peel mask because uh, I need a new mask. And this had really good reviews. It has AHA, BHA, PHA, um, and it's pretty natural. It just has really good reviews. So I'm trying to like fade the last little bit of my acne marks. Oh, I also am excited about this. Uh, the Refi Brow Sculpt. I've been wanting to try Refi for a long time. I love like that laminated brow look. So we'll try that. And the Kosas Concealer. Everyone raves about the Kosas Concealer. Oh my gosh. Creamy, brightening, got the shade 2.5. Light with peach undertones. I figured it'd be good for the under eyes. Oh my God, I can't wait. And then for a lip combo, I got the Makeup Forever Up and Down Tan Lip Pencil. This is very popular. The other one that's popular is called Anywhere Caffeine and that was sold out, so I grabbed this one. And then I grabbed a Makeup by Mario uh, Bare Glow Plumping Lip Serum which I can't wait to try as well. So that is everything that I grabbed. A really, really solid haul, like everything I'm genuinely just so excited to get. And I can't wait to put these on tomorrow. So update on the nails again, I have shared recently. That nail glue, phenomenal. Like I've had these on for two and a half weeks. I think maybe one has popped off or the nails have broken because they're like, not like the highest of quality, but like there are some nails like they're grown out so much. That glue, it's called super glue. You get it at the Dollar Tree on Amazon. I'll link it below. Amazing, just amazing. So, and I will link all of these Sephora finds below and we will play with them very soon. I can't wait. But yeah, that's it for this vlog. Get excited. We're about to decorate for Christmas in the next one. And I love you guys so much. I'll see you very soon.